This lecture will cover the 47 terms that you are most likely to see on the certification exams. Service-oriented architecture is an approach to building applications around and with services and service-oriented computing. Service-oriented computing is a way of thinking in terms of services and service-based development and the outcomes of services where services are separate concerns. Service compositions are comprised of multiple other composable services and this composability is the core of SOA reuse. A service inventory is an independently standardized and governed collection of complementary services within a boundary that represents an enterprise or a meaningful segment of the enterprise. Agnostic applies to service context and capability and means not knowing about. It can also refer to independent or isolated. Atomic service usually applies to a service that does one thing. It may also be associated with atomic service transactions. Asynchronous queuing is associated with several SOA design patterns and includes both JMS and message queues. This is one of the benefits of SOA and usually means a closer alignment of business needs with IT. Business driven is synonymous. A compensating service transaction relates to long-running transactions that may need to be rolled back asynchronously. A complex composition usually refers to compositions that have multiple subcontrollers, but any composition with many members can be called a complex composition. A composition controller is responsible for routing a message to multiple composition members in sequence. There may be dynamic routing via official endpoints or static routing in code. A composition subcontroller refers to a service that is a member of one composition and itself a controller of another composition. A composition initiator is an application or program or other service that initiates the composite service. It may not be necessarily part of a service inventory. A composition member is any service that is composable and may be included in a service composition. A service may have multiple service contracts that expose different methods or operations for different purposes. Centralized contracts usually refers to storing all service contracts and metadata in a service registry repository. Centralized schemas usually refers to storage of all schema definitions in a service registry repository. Contract to logic coupling exists when the contract is built based on existing logic such as when generated with automated tools. This negative coupling should be avoided as it limits the evolution of the service contract itself. Data model transformation is something to be avoided if possible and is usually done in a facade to transform schemas from one to another using XSLT. An ESB is a service platform that is common in SOA. It works by automating the common connection tasks around building a solution and integration of services. Event-driven messaging is a design pattern that reacts to events such as publish and subscribe, event listeners, and JMS topics. The federated endpoint layer is associated with the official endpoint design pattern where a service registry and repository contains the service inventory and all of the endpoints for the services. The four pillars of service orientation are 1. Iterative development 2. User involvement 3. Contract first and 4. Refactoring Functional decomposition is a key element in SOA analysis and refers to the breakup or decomposition of an application into discrete service functions. 
Intermediate routing is a design pattern where the routing of a message is determined at runtime by a service or a component. The legacy wrapper design pattern solves the common integration problem with external legacy application APIs and is adapted to SOA protocols and schema. The service loose coupling principle says that the logic to contract coupling is favored because it demonstrates the contract first principle. To emphasize, this is considered a positive coupling and the result of the contract first approach. This will be on most of the certification exams. Logic centralization is a design pattern applied within the service orientation design paradigm whose application aims to increase the reusability potential of agnostic logic. It accomplishes this by ensuring that services do not contain redundant agnostic logic, and that any reusable logic should only be represented by a single suitable service. If agnostic is good, then non-agnostic is bad, right? Well, no. You may need non-agnostic services in workflows for a specific application that will not be reused. An orchestration service may also be called a mediation service or an intermediate routing service. By any name, this service looks at the message and routes it to the appropriate services in sequence. Protocol bridging is a design pattern common to a service broker or facade where one protocol, like HTTP, is transformed into another protocol, like JMS. Representational State Transfer, or REST, is a common protocol in SOA implementations as it is compact and efficient via HTTP. Schema standardization is a key element in SOA because it is part of a standardized service contract that promotes loose coupling and reuse. Service abstraction is key to having a uniform interface on the outside while allowing flexibility on the inside. A service that is autonomous can operate freely with no dependencies on other services or resources. A service agent is an auxiliary service or utility that monitors activities and can act on messages directly. Usually it's part of a platform or operating system. A service broker is a design pattern associated with protocol bridging and or data model transformation along with intermediate routing. A service contract may be a WSDL file with associated schema definitions but may also contain SLA or metadata. It usually is machine readable. Service composability is the capacity for a service to become a composition member and usually requires agnostic context. Service discoverability is the capacity of a service to be discovered in a service inventory or service registry. It is a measure of the metadata descriptors. A service facade provides an adapter pattern to process a message before the main flow of an application. It can include protocol bridging and data model transformation. Service reusability is the capacity of a service to be reused. This usually requires an agnostic context, standardized service contract, and service autonomy. A service grid is an integration platform oriented towards the wiring of services together via configuration instead of programming and is a typical vendor solution like Cisco. Service statelessness is the property of a service where the messages enter, are processed, and returned without holding state. A web service may be an integral part of your SOA implementation, but remember, web services alone do not make a SOA. They typically include HTTP SOAP, HTTP REST, MQ and JMS. Last but not least, the standardized service contract 
is a key element in the success of your SOA implementation. By setting and enforcing standardized protocols, schemas, and SLA in the contract-first approach, you can practically guarantee the core SOA benefits of intrinsic interoperability, reusability, and high ROI.